Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 64 in chapter 24. Chapter 24 is about capacitance, Dow electrics, and electric en energy storage. So there, we look at this system. This is one way to measure the depth of a liquid in a storage tank. So normally, we can measure the capacitance for this tank to just get the depth of this liquid. How can we do that? You can see we can consider this tank as two capacitors. This one we call it capacitors liquid. Okay. And this one we can consider it as the capacitor empty, or we can say vapor. Mm -hmm. And then you can see these two capacitors is in parallel connection. Do you agree? Yes. How can we prove it? You can see if we connect the outer layer with the, with the battery, and another side goes to inner layers, the potential difference for C liquid and must equal to the capacitance for C V. Do you agree? Yes. Now for two capacitors, the potential difference equals that means these two capacitors are in parallel connection. Do you agree? Yes. Now, can you find the equivalent capacitance for two capacitors, CV and C liquid? They are in parallel connection. Yes, it's so easy, right? We can consider this capacitance just as the capacitance liquid plus the capacitance V, vapor, right? Now we can write down the capacitance liquid and CV separately. And this part, you can check your test book to find the capacitance for cylindric capacitors. Mm -hmm. So for cylindric capacitors, you can see this is 2 pi epsilon naught we times the dial electric constants for liquid right there. And then times the H. This H is the distance. On this H, is the length for these cylindrical capacitors C liquid and then divided by low the outer radius over inner inner radius. Similarly, we can write the capacitors C V in this function. You can see the dial electric is K V and then the length from the the empty part is L minus H, right? Yes, now we input this C liquid and C V inside. We get function look like this one. We organize it. You get it look like this one, right? Now it tell you the C is given. The capacitor is given. You need to find a function for H. So easy. You just reorganize this function. Reorganize this equation. You get the function for H in these terms, right? Yes. Now the problems give you some quantities about this capacitor about this storage tank, such as outer radius, inner radius, the dielectric for the liquid and the uh, vapor, and also the length for L. Now, ask you to find the capacitance in the full case or the empty cases. So we first write down the capacitance functions at zero. In first situation, if this storage tank is full, that means the H just equal to L, right? So H equal to L, we input it inside. We can see the H become L and this term disappear. Uh -huh. And then we input all the given quantities uh, uh, is given and then get answer there. The second case is if this storage tank is empty. Now we can see the H equal to zero. If H equal to zero, this term disappear, right? And this L just the H just a zero, so we get the function can be simplified as this one. Input all the given quantity, you get the answer zero. Thank you.